Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side. Your nutritional program is dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practice, pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you have a health challenge, you or a loved one may be dealing with 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about, polyphenols, vegetation, plants, botanicals, green tea, vinegar, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the Bright Side. If you'd like to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, you can head to our website's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website. We've got blog posts and news stories up as well, videos on criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, and pharmacistben.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business. If you're an entrepreneur or entrepreneurially minded, if the entrepreneur lifestyle appeals to you, if you want to be your own boss, make as much money or as little money as you like, work out of your home, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business for a one-time $25 fee. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team and make some money and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, you can do that too for a one-time $25 fee. Head over to criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, or pharmacistben.com for more info. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And I also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Serum, and Truth Balm. All made without preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, oil, silicon, emulsifier, surfactant, water. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Just 100% active and functional ingredients. You're not going to find that anywhere. That's not how skincare products are typically made, folks. Most skincare products are 90 to 95% H2O from the tap. That's what you're spending your money on. I didn't want to do that when I came out with our truth treatment products. I wanted 100% active and functional ingredients because that's what I was using in my pharmacy. When I was compounding products for patients, I was just giving them the stuff, giving them the juice, giving them the active materials with a little transdermal matrix. And that's what I'm providing for you at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, truth serum, truth balm, truth omega-6 healing cream, and our truth retinol 5% gel. All right. So welcome back to The Bright Side. We're talking vinegar. Actually, we're talking about green tea. I want a couple more things I want to say about vinegar, which I absolutely love as a nutritional supplement. Yes, it is a nutritional supplement. It is a nutritional element. It's a source of short-chain fats, short-chain fatty acids. Yesterday, we talked about acetic acid, which is the active ingredient in vinegar. For you skincare aficionados, Acetic acid is also an alpha hydroxy acid, similar to glycolic acid or lactic acid, and that's why apple cider vinegar can make a great toner, a great skin, to a, a great topical skin treatment. Alpha hydroxy acids, which we've talked about in the past, 
are one of the very few active ingredients that you can use on your skin that will really make a difference on your skin. In fact, there's only really three ingredients that you can put on top of your skin that are going to make a significant difference. No matter what you hear, no matter what you read on the internet or your doctor has told you or even your, your skin care or your esthetician has told you, there's only three ingredients that will make a wits bit of difference on your skin in the long term. Alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic acid being the most popular, although acetic acid is alpha hydroxy acid too, vitamin C and vitamin A, and that's it. Internally, acetic acid, the active ingredient in apple cider vinegar gets turned into ketones. That means it's ketogenic. The ketogenic diet is a diet that stimulates the production of ketones. Well, guess what? Acetic acid does the same thing. Apple cider vinegar is the quintessential ketogenic, ketogenic supplement. Ketones are little balls of energy which are much more energy dense and much more valuable from an energy perspective than sugar, which is the typical fuel that we burn for energy. We got so much sugar in our environment, there's so much sugar everywhere, that our bodies have become sugar burners and our bodies get used to deriving energy from sugar. However, ketones are much more valuable from an energy perspective and that's why the ketogenic diet has so many wonderful benefits. Well, guess what? Apple cider vinegar is ketogenic. Apple cider vinegar stimulates the production of ketones. The ketogenic diet is a way of eating that supplies ketones and supplies the body with energy. You get multiple benefits. We've talked about those a lot. Benefits for the brain, benefits for weight loss, anti-cancer benefits, anti-diabetic benefits, feeling better benefits, satiety or satisfaction inducing benefits. Well, apple cider vinegar can get you all of those benefits. Doing a swig of it with meals or doing a swig of it on an empty stomach. Acetic acid, which is the active ingredient in uh, apple cider vinegar, vinegars are somewhere around 5 to 10% acetic acid, is technically called, acetic acid is technically called a short fat or a short chain fatty acid. That's the technical name, SCFA, short chain fatty acid. I'm just going to call it a short fat. And like all the short fats, it can be turned into ketones really readily. And this makes apple cider vinegar an excellent supplement if you're trying to leverage the power of the ketogenic diet. It's not a stretch to say that many of the benefits of the ketogenic diet are pretty much the same benefits that you get from apple cider vinegar. If you go on the internet or you go to a bookstore and, uh, that specializes in health books, you're going to see books that talk about apple cider vinegar as if it was some kind of miracle substance, as if it was some kind of panacea. It's good for so many different things. And it's easy to kind of think that it's hyperbole or it's an exaggeration. Well, it's not because apple cider vinegar is ketogenic. That's why it achieves all of these wonderful benefits, especially, by the way, for the digestive system. The cells of the intestine are especially capable of producing ketones. The cells of the intestine very readily produce ketones from short-chain fatty acids, and apple cider vinegar is thus very important for intestinal health. And because ketones have been shown to be important for uh, protection from uh, uh, colon cancer, intestinal ketones, you can begin to see why you want to start to pay attention to short chain fatty acids. You want to start to pay attention to using vinegar and to using butter. Butter, by the way, is a wonderful source of short chain fatty acids, as well as getting enough fiber. This is one of the major reasons. Well, there's a lot of reasons why fiber is so important. Fiber helps clean the intestines out. Fiber helps slow down the release of nutrients to give the body a chance to absorb them. But I don't want to say the major benefit from fiber, but certainly one of the major benefits from fiber is fiber can get turned into short chain fatty acids by gut bacteria. The bacteria eat the fiber and they release short chain fatty acids. So making sure you're getting enough fiber, making sure you're on a good probiotic supplement, making sure you're using apple cider vinegar, making sure you're eating fermented foods, especially fermented veggies. Fermented veggies give you you a, a double benefit. Number one, you get the bacteria from the fermentation, and number two, you get the fiber. Then the combination of the bacteria and the fiber produce the short chain fatty acids. What we're doing here, folks, is taking advantage of ketones, taking advantage of short fats, taking advantage of fiber, taking advantage of gut bacteria, the the microbiome, taking advantage of what's built into the digestive process, making it work for us, leveraging the power of the body. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the Bright Side right after this. Right. 
Right Side Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 the Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at benfuchsarchives.com, also bright, uh, brightsideben.com. And we also have blog posts up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, as well as all the longevity products. You can purchase longevity products right off the website. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Our number today on the bright side, 844-236-6010, and we do have lines open, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with or anything we're speaking about here today, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you are on prescription drugs, that should be your number one health goal, to wean yourself off your medication. Nobody should ever, ever, ever be on a prescription drug for life. That is the, among the silliest of all medical strategies, and that's saying something because there's a lot of silly medical strategies. To leave a patient on a medication for the rest of that patient's life is absurd. That is, if, uh, if, for chronic, long-term, progressive, degenerative illnesses, the kind that most of our health care costs, most of our multi-trillion dollar health care costs, uh, that account for most of our trillion, trillion, I think $2 trillion health care costs. Anyway, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. So what we're talking about here today is taking advantage of things that are built into the body, the digestive system in particular. 80, some, uh, 80 million Americans are dealing with digestive health issues. The digestive system is fully equipped to do its business. And one of the classic examples, one of the classic manifestations of the brilliance of the digestive system is its ability to produce ketones from short-chain fatty acids. Look, check how beautiful the system is. You eat fiber, the bacteria, uh, the bacteria in the gut munch down on the fiber. They release short-chain fatty acids. The short-chain fatty acids are turned into ketones by the gut, by the cells of the intestine, to fuel the cells of the intestine. It's an unbelievably elegant and perfect system. All we got to do is make sure we're eating the fiber and make sure we're supporting the microbiome. And this, by the way, is why eating butter is so important. Butter is a wonderful source of butyric acid. That's where we get the name butter, butyric acid. Butyric acid is a short-chain fatty acid. You can get your short-chain fats from eating fiber, and your body will make those short-chain fats, but you can support it by eating butter. Bonus... Butyric acid, butter, like other short-chain fatty acids, is a mood enhancer. It turns off the appetite, and it's anti-inflammatory, and it can be particularly important as an anti-inflammatory for uh, the inflammation that's associated with a high-fat diet. How do you like that? A fat that protects the body from the harmful effects of fat. A fat, a short-chain fat that protects the body from the inflammatory effects of lousy dietary fats. And butyric acid also has an insulin sensitizing effect, which makes eating butter very important for diabetics. It makes your insulin stronger. This is one of the reasons why short-chain fatty acids have appetite suppressant properties, because they support insulin. Insulin is an appetite suppressant hormone. Problem is, when we become insulin resistant, when our insulin is spiking all the time because we're eating carbs, we're eating sugar, we're eating foods that spike our insulin, our body becomes resistant to insulin and we keep eating. We don't get the shut off. The shut off signals are not received. Butter supports insulin sensitivity, thereby suppressing the appetite or at least reducing our drive to eat all the time. Put butter on everything, especially veggies. Hopefully you guys can start to see the tools we have at our disposal to stay healthy. None of this requires a doctor. None of this requires medical intervention. It is obnoxious and so arrogant for a doctor to stick his nose in our health business. Now, of course, we let him. We abdicate responsibility for our health, but we don't need to. The medical model has no business in taking care of our health. The medical model is there, should be there, for patching us up when we get hit by a car. And by the way, it does a great job doing that. But as far as long-term chronic degenerative diseases, fire your doctor. It's none of his business. Eat butter. Get on the ketogenic diet. Use a nutritional supplement program. Make sure you're exercising. Make sure you're relaxing the body. None of this involves medical intervention. 
You see how we repeat ourselves over and over again here? Ketogenic diet, short chain fatty acids, blood sugar control, gut health, balancing out estrogen. And even more importantly, all of these ideas about health are in the realm of lifestyle, i.e. the choices we make around food, around sugar, and around mitigating or reducing the impact of cortisol and inflammation, relaxing the body. All right, now I want to get back to green tea, which I absolutely love as I sip on my green tea and BTT. I mix my Beyond Tangy Tangerine with my green tea, by the way. Makes the green tea taste a little orangey, gets you some nutritional value, and plus you get all the great benefits of green tea, not just the caffeine, you also get the EGCG. EGCG, epigallocatechin gala, EGCG, which is the major active component in green tea. Last we spoke, when we were talking about green tea anyway, we talked about as uh, green tea or EGCG as part of an anti-diabetes program. In fact, green tea and epi, uh, EGCG and uh, their effects on blood sugar and insulin are among the most well-recognized and well-researched benefits of green tea. All diabetics should be sipping on green tea. According to an article published in the Journal of Agriculture and Food Chemistry posted on the WebMD website, quote, green tea represents a potentially inexpensive, non-toxic, and in fact pleasurable blood sugar lowering agent, unquote, and, quote, may be a simple, inexpensive means of preventing or retarding human diabetes and the ensuing complications, quote, uh, end quote. The research, which was published in May 2005, also showed that green tea could prevent the formation of eye diseases, specifically diabetic cataracts. Green tea for cataracts. When was the last time your doctor told you that? Green tea and EGCG have also been shown to lower insulin levels, improve insulin resistance, and at the same time decrease appetite. Remember, insulin sensitivity is important for appetite suppression. Green tea will de decrease your appetite. Green tea will, uh, uh, can help improve satiety. Male rats given EGCG injections were found to consume 50 to 60% less food than control rats, and significant reductions were achieved in blood glucose, blood fats, blood triglycerides, and blood cholesterol, just from green tea. The best way to take advantage of your green tea, of the anti-diabetic properties of your green tea, is to consume green tea with meals, or even better, before meals. You'll find that you'll eat less food, your blood sugar markers will improve. If you happen to fall off the wagon and go crazy on sweets or carbs, you're going to a party, you eat a bunch of cake, you might want to consider using green tea capsules. Take a couple green tea capsules before you go to the party. Maybe take a couple green tea capsules after you eat. Maybe take a green tea capsule or two first thing in the morning. You may get a little caffeine buzz, but if caffeine's a problem, you can get decaf capsules. They're readily available. You can get 100 green tea capsules for less than $10. Decaf is probably a little bit expensive, but still very, very reasonably priced. Keep in mind, when you're doing your green tea, you'll get benefits if you do green tea before meals. You'll get benefits uh, if you do your green tea with your meals. You'll probably eat less food, but the best way to do your green tea is on an empty stomach. The active ingredients in green tea, and by the way, the active ingredients in all vegetation, the polyphenols, are not really absorbed very effectively out of the intestine. That's why you want to mix a little fat with your veggies, and that's why you want to try to do your green tea first thing in the morning or on an empty stomach to maximize absorption. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844. 236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We will return on the bright side right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. And we do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in just a minute. So if you're on hold, hang on. And we do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010 if you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, questions about the longevity products or a patient or you or a loved one. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. From the journal Medical Economics, plan suggested for reducing health care costs. Noting that in 2016, the United States spent more than $3 trillion on health care. Oh, my God. I thought, it was, I thought it was $2 trillion. But what's a trillion between friends? That's the thing. We have this number inflation. We hear these numbers all the time. They don't really mean anything to us. A trillion, here's, here's a good way to visualize a trillion. A trillion is like a grain of salt in 10 Olympic-sized swimming pools. 
If you take all the water in 10 Olympic-sized swimming pools and compare it to a grain of salt, that's about one to a trillion. That's ridiculous. That, a trillion is an amazing, amazing, amazing huge number. But we hear things like the budget is $16 trillion and the, uh, or the budget deficit is $16 trillion and healthcare costs are $3 trillion. And uh, you just hear these crazy numbers bandied about all the time. It's easy to just not appreciate how enormous these figures are. We got a $3 trillion bill for healthcare in this country. That's, that's, uh, oh, there's 300 million Americans. What does that come out to? Uh, $10,000 a person? This is ridiculous. And so what does is, what is this journal Medical Economics talk about here with our $3 trillion health care costs? How do you reduce it? Well, we're going to streamline insurance. That's how we're going to... Uh, this is from the journal Medical Eno Economics. Deploying more nurse practitioners and physician assistants using health information technology. Nowhere does it say about exercising a little bit. Nobody, nowhere does it say about getting on a nutritional supplement program. How about calorie restriction? No, they want to they streamline insurance and uh, cut, uh, reduce unnecessary elective surgeries, reduce the cost of new drugs. If you want to cut your health care costs, folks, get on a nutritional supplement program. Eat less food, exercise, breathe deeply. Use apple cider vinegar. Have butter with all your meals. This is so simple. Health is not complicated. The idea that it is is a doctor-promoted notion that only enriches the medical model and doesn't help us. All right, from, uh, this is from the journal, the uh, open access journal, eLife. Why our brain cells may prevent us burning fat when we're dieting. A study carried out of mice may explain why dieting can be an inefficient way to lose weight. Apparently, key brain cells act as a trigger to prevent us from burning calories when food is scarce. When you stop eating calories, the body stops burning them. It's an evolutionarily mandated mechanism to keep us from starving to death. So when we stop eating calories, the body stops burning calories. That's why dieting is really kind of an inefficient way to lose weight. Not that calorie restriction is not important. It is. Calorie restriction is an incredibly important strategy for health. Not necessarily for dieting, but for health. You'll lose weight if you cut the calories a little bit, but you're going to plateau. The main reason why people don't lose a lot of weight when they try to go on a diet is because the body is keeping it on. The body will slow down burning when calorie, restrict, when, uh, calorie intake is dropped. The best way to lose weight, in addition to making sure that you're exercising a little bit, exercising is not all that, is, is not all that important for losing weight. You gotta exercise a, a lot if you're, gonna use, if you're gonna use exercise to lose weight. And dieting isn't a great way to lose weight either. The best way is to reduce the kind, uh, change the kind of foods you're eating. Reduce your intake of fast-burning carbohydrates. Reduce your uh, cortisol levels. Those are the two major strategies for losing weight is lowering cortisol and lowering insulin. You lower insulin by reducing your intake of fast-burning carbs and by using nutritional supplements that help you burn carbs, chromium, vanadium, selenium, essential fats, arginine, the amino acid arginine, and by reducing cortisol levels. You reduce cortisol levels by relaxing the body, deep breathing techniques, as well as lowering your blood sugar. Between lowering cortisol and lowering insulin, everybody can lose weight. I should say everybody who needs to lose weight can lose weight. Lower your cortisol, reduce your cortisol levels, your stress hormone levels, and reduce your insulin levels. How do you reduce insulin? Lower your uh, intake of fast-burning carbs. How do you reduce cortisol? Relax the body, and make sure you get on a good nutritional supplement program as well. One more thing, and then we'll uh, get your calls here. One more study here, and we'll get your calls. This one I think is very important. Diabetes drug gets FDA warning due to amputation risk. Type 2 diabetes prescription drug Invokana appears to increase the risk of leg and foot amputations. Now, I, I didn't know that, that this, this particular drug was going to cause a problem with amputation, but I could have told you that it was going to cause a problem. You can't take a prescription drug and be better off for it. Period. End of story. You cannot take a prescription drug and be better off for it in the long term if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease like diabetes, which is not a medical issue. It's a lifestyle issue. Now, I personally I have to say, I, I didn't know that they were going to find out that it was going to cause amputations. But I'm not surprised. Amputations of the toe and the middle of the uh, the toe and middle of the foot were the most common. But leg amputations below and above the knee also occurred. How do you like that? You take your Invokana, 
because your doctor told you to, because it's going to be good for your diabetes, and you end up with your leg cut off. You end up with a leg amputation. All for a disease state that is basically voluntary. All for a disease state that can be mitigated and whose symptoms can be reduced and attenuated by simply changing the way we live our lives. Diabetes is the most tragic of all health challenges, and it is a, the leading cause of death. If you factor in its relationship to heart disease and cancer, it is the leading cause of death and a leading cause of misery, a leading cause of eye problems and blindness, a leading cause of amputations, a leading cause of misery. And it's not a doctor issue, and it's not a drug issue. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Curtis in West Virginia. Good morning, Curtis. Welcome to the Bright Side. Oh, good morning. I'm glad to get to talk to you again. What's you're going on, man? Knowledge, you're about the most knowledgeable person I've ever heard talk on this program. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm very glad to have a chance to talk to you. Today is my day to take another shot for this testosterone. And I'm, I'm listening to you very close. Besides butter and some other three that you mentioned, what else could I do? For testosterone? Yeah, that bring my testosterone. I was all the way down to 92 last time I was checked. How, what's your uh, What's your height to weight, Curtis? I'm 5'10", 170 pounds. I've lost some weight lately. So. Good for you. Good for you. That's going to help. Body fat makes uh, female hormone is made in body fat, and that will change your ability. That will uh, decrease testosterone. The body's uh, response to testosterone. Estrogen is antagonizes testosterone. So the number one way to deal with, to improve testosterone levels is to lose body fat. Now you say you're 5'10", 180. It doesn't sound like you know that doesn't sound too bad on the numbers, but you may be carrying body fat around the belly especially around the belly. Body fat around the belly is, it will antagonize the, the testosterone response. So losing belly fat is important, and sensitizing your body to insulin is important. Uh, so you sensitize your body to insulin by using supplements like selenium, for example, also chromium and vanadium. Alpha lipoic acid will help. Arginine will help. Anything that sensitizes your body to insulin makes your insulin more responsive, will improve your, will, will uh, reduce, uh, reduce your appetite, lower your appetite, and improve growth hormone secretion. So uh, keeping, uh, making sure your insulin is, uh, is sensitive, keeping, uh, reducing your intake of fast-burning carbohydrates and insulin-spiking foods, and then also using supplements that support insulin. Hang on. I've got a couple more ideas for you when, uh, after we come back from our breaks. Don't go away, Curtis. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. is our number got lines open for you we are talking to curtis in west virginia about testosterone you there curtis yes sir yes, okay sir. so so probably if you lost some weight i would say that your low testosterone levels had something to do with body fat and probably poor blood sugar control that's the most important thing that you can that you want to focus on is blood sugar control and losing body fat okay that's the first thing to do the next thing you want to do is a little bit of resistance training not just walking around the block and not just you know getting on the treadmill but literally lifting weights or doing some kind of resistance training building muscle com compelling the body to build muscle this will drive testosterone upwards so you don't have to do a lot. You could only, only need five minutes a day or, you know, 10 minutes, maybe uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes a week kind of thing. You don't need a lot, but you do need, need needs to be resistance training where you're forcing the muscles to work. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do Okay, good. That's the second thing you're going to do. The third thing you want to do is get yourself on some key nutritional supplements. In addition to the supplements that help your body burn sugar or, or support insulin production, like I was saying, selenium and your omega-3 fats and, uh, and also uh, zinc is very important for helping the body uh, utilize sugar as well as for testosterone. In fact, zinc is the, probably the number one mineral to use for testosterone support, uh, 50 milligrams of zinc a day. Uh, and along with vitamin A. Vitamin A and zinc work together. They're both anabolic nutrients. That is, they're building nutrients, and they work together. Vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. Zinc, picolinate, 50 milligrams a day. Throw in some magnesium. That's probably going to help you as well. Uh, and make sure you're doing protein, particularly bone broth protein or, or uh, chicken, uh, chicken soup protein, the kind of protein that's found in cartilage as well as the kind of protein that's found in meat and high-protein foods fish, 
uh, eggs, dairy, making sure you're getting enough of the building amino acids, particularly arginine, which is incredibly important for building as well as for growth, growth hormone. In fact, you might even want to consider taking a little bit of extra arginine, maybe a gram or two of it uh, in a powder form. It tastes awful, so you'll have to mix it into a smoothie or something, but it's, a lot, it's much more cost effective to use arginine powder than, uh, than the arginine capsule, so you'll have to kind of disguise the taste a little bit. But it's very, very helpful for blood sugar, for also for building muscle as, as well as for uh, as well as for uh, growth hormone secretion, as I was saying earlier. All right, I got to motivate here, Curtis. I hope uh, we helped you out, and thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate it very much. Okay. Take well, care, buddy. You. All right, uh, Charlie in Kentucky, good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, pharmacist Dan, how's it going, man? It's going good. What's up? Well, I've got a um, situation. My dad, he's been dealing with cancer for about a year, mm. and uh, they've been beating him up with the medical model for a while now, and finally got uh, my stepmom and him convinced to at least go get some kind of IV nutrition. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, and hopefully, I mean, it may be too far down the road, but I just wanted to ask your opinion on, other than maybe glutathione and vitamin C, what other Get the Myers IV cocktail. Nutrition. Tell him you want the Myers cocktail. Is that the one with the phosphatidylcholine? No, that's that's a B vitamin and magnesium uh, uh, IV IV blend. Okay. Uh, it's called the Myers cocktail. Uh, Myers. Yes, uh, glutathione, selenium is very important. Vitamin C, as you pointed out, is important. You might try alpha lipoic acid and vitamin E as well. IV nutrition is the. You're going to be hearing a lot more and more about IV nutrition because it is probably the. The single most powerful way to get supplements into your body is through IV. It's expensive, okay. uh, but it is well worth it. Even if for yeah. oh, vitamin B12, I forgot about that one. Throw, make sure he's getting some vitamin B12. So not the complex, but just B12? No, the complex too, but extra vitamin B12. Okay. But IV nutrition is set to become the latest and greatest in terms of uh, uh, healthcare tools, healthcare strategies, movie stars and people who have a lot of money and you know, people who have, don't have to worry about the expense of IV nutrition, they do it. Brad Pitt does right. it. You know, sure. People who are super concerned about their looks and super concerned about the aging, uh, the aging process do IV nutrition. It is unbelievably important and unbelievably helpful. It bypasses all, all the digestive health challenges that most of us deal with when we get older. Uh, it bypasses absorption issues. If you've had a gallbladder removed or if you have a Crohn's disease or any irritable bowel issues or ulcerative colitis or any, any kind of intestinal problems, IV nutrition will bypass, will get the nutrients right into the blood, bypassing any digestive health issues you may have. And if you're dealing with cancer and you really need intense nutrition, I can't recommend it enough. IV nutrition right. is an awesome, awesome strategy for everybody, well, but particularly if you're dealing with cancer. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, well, we're heading down there just shortly. I already set the appointment, and I just wanted to have Where do you go? Picture. Are you in a big city? Are you um, in... It's big city-ish. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, okay, the, that's a college the town actual, there. Yeah, the actual um, facility is just across the river in southern Indiana. Well, um, good for you. Good for you. Let me know how that works. I'd love to hear yeah, well, that from you. So just real quick, so B12, Myers cocktail, selenium, glutathione, vitamin C. Yeah, those are the those are the biggies. Alpha lipoic acid, you might want to throw that one in there too. But vitamin C is really the big one. That's the big one. Yeah, that vitamin would be my C. thoughts as well. Okay. All right, Farmer. Right. Thanks Good for luck, Charlie. Me. I appreciate it. Take, take care, man. Have a beautiful day. All right. Uh, let's go to Oregon and welcome the Truth Raider to the bright side. Carl, the Truth Raider. What's up, my man? Good morning, Ben, my good friend. What's I going on? I swirl V's coming. Is it swirl V's or is it swirl V? Swero V, which I absolutely love. You know, we market the Swero V for as a cleanse and for the digestive system, but it's a great weight loss tool. It's a great way to get energy in the middle of the day. It's a great way to keep yourself from snacking. It's a source of electrolytes and it's a source of a, a good bacteria. So it's wonderful for the gut. But the Swero V cleanse is really the best way to do your to to uh, get yourself into the uh, into the uh, uh, food the food diary elimination diet part of the uh, the Bright Side Health Protocol. The beginning of health. Is is food diary, if you're dealing with a health challenge, the beginning of getting better is to do a food diary and uh, the elimination diet. And the best way to do that is to start off with a fast or a swear OV cleanse. Either Absolutely. way, fasting or swear OV cleanse. Have you done it yet? Well, I'm waiting for it to come. I got the okay. shipping confirmation through an email. It says it's going to be here by Friday. So I Which, wanted to call you in what, advance to find out if we're on for the challenge, the Swirl Vias challenge, and I'll uh, report to you the results of how my progress is with it. And you said you'll send me out a, a Beyond Tangy Tangerine if I conduct the 
conduct the challenge only Did two I say hours. that? No, I, I don't remember that. saying that. Are you making that up, Carl, the truth right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember saying it, but I will do I it. I got it on archives. I, okay, I got you. Which, which Swirl V did you get? I think I got the, to, the what is it, the, the There's the gold. Quantity. There's the gold, there's the, gold, there's the silver, and the bronze. Yeah, I got the one that cost uh, $52 plus tax with shipping. I'm not sure which one. I'm not sure which one that is. But are, now you know that you know there's a. Th- you're going to do the three day detox cleanse. Is that what you're going to do? I whatever comes in the instructions. I just okay. ordered it. This blind blindedly or, ordered it. I ordered the smaller quantity, not the larger quantity, but the smaller quantity that lasts a particular amount of time. I forgot what the what the assistant the 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 the, the, the representative that took my order told me how, how to do it, but... Um, it's a three-day cleanse, and you do half a bottle of Swear V every hour for three days. By the way, okay. Swear V, it's, it's, also, it's also got protein. It's fermented whey is what the Swear V is. So it's not, just, it's not just the probiotics, and it's not just the sodium and the potassium, uh, but it's also uh, the whey. So you're getting, uh, you're getting all, this, all the good benefits of whey, plus you're getting the bacteria, plus you're getting the, uh, the sodium and the potassium. You're probably getting other minerals as well. So it's an all-around nutritional drink. It's very tasty, and it's an awesome way to wean yourself into a fast for folks who have a hard time fasting. Also, as I said, great for snack. To keep yourself from snacking, it is a snack. Snack, but it's a healthy snack in the middle of the day. All I right, need Carl. to do it because I'm up to 225 pounds now. you got to lose some weight, huh? I'm getting fat. <laughs> You're 225. How tall are you? Yeah, I'm 5'9". Yeah, that's not good, Carl. The my knees trailer. are hurting. My back is hurting. No, that's I, not I good, trouble, buddy. You know, all mm-hmm. that and must be that I'm putting on too much weight because my ankles sometimes have pain. And, you know, I, yeah, you got to lose some weight. Lose yeah. 25 pounds. Two and a better. quarter. What's that? I don't really look it, but that's what my scale tells me. Yeah. Do you like looking at yourself when you get out of the shower, or do you just like get no. dressed really quickly? <laughs> I, I feel like I'm pregnant. Yeah, that's not good. All right, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate I appreciate your call, Carl. So so let us know how you do with that. Absolutely. All right. All right good. Thank Thanks, you, man. Ben. Take care. Have a good day. All right. That's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I want to encourage you to check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Check out our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and uh, uh, Truth Retinol 5% Gel. And you can find out why Truth Serum was voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar magazine. And you can also find out why our genetic testing showed that our Truth Retinol 5% 5% gel upregulated anti-aging genes, some anti-aging genes by 9,400%. You can find out about all our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. You can find out about all the Longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben phone team off the websites as well. Brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. Thanks for listening to the Brightside, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.